Hello and welcome to Prime News. Now look at the headlines. Prosecution contends Digambar's custody needed as confessions before magistrate indict him. Defence contends statements of witnesses are doctored, manipulated. Churchill becomes first politician to be lodged in Kolwale jail. Churchill's bail hearing to continue on Friday. Court dismisses bail plea of Avala operator Sony. Supreme Court to have a decisive hearing on Goa mining matters. Sources say expert committee to recommend 35 million tons capping. Bombay High Court lifts ban conditionally on Maggie. Rules in favour of Nestle. Nestle to test samples in three accredited labs. Results in six weeks to resume production. And MLS raised furor over functioning of tourism department. Alleged multiple scams from beach cleaning contract to women taxi initiative. And now the news in detail. Digambar Kamath's anticipatory bail hearing will continue on Friday morning and he has more 24 hours breather. Prosecution has contended that Kamath's custody is necessary as he is suppressing the truth. Probing agency claims they have evidences and chain of events showing Kamath's involvement in crime. On the other side, Kamath's defense lawyer contended that uh, statements of witnesses are doctored and manipulated. Also, that the crime branch did not furnish a copy of FIR to Digambar Kamath. Interim relief to Digambar Kamath continues till Friday. His anticipatory bail plea came up for hearing before special court in Panji. Prosecution argued to dismiss the plea of Kamath as his interrogation is vital in Louis Berger bribery case. Prosecution contended that Louis Berger case is registered on basis of information gathered from official website of United States Authority. Case is being registered after preliminary inquiry. Crime branch has made attempts to contact James McClung. Once contact is established, McClung would be brought under law of land. Work order was issued for facing threat of losing sanction of loan from JICA. Noting file is missing. Crime branch has no noting file. PIO of PWD didn't verify memo of seizure of documents. PIO of PWD confessed his mistake. Few subordinates confirmed that RTI reply is given without cross-checking. Probing agency has evidences showing Kamath's role in crime. Agency had chain of events besides 164 statements of witnesses. Vata Sundar has confessed of pressurizing company to pay bribe on behest of Churchill Alema and Digambar Kamath. Agency needs Digambar Kamath for interrogation as he is suppressing truth. Louis Burge's former Vice President Mohanty says fund was arranged to bribe ministers. However, defense side argued that Crime branch's questioning to Digambar was nothing different than last appearance. Chief Minister Parsikar wants to control investigation. Investigation agency should have hold preliminary inquiry before registering FIR. Case is going upon doctored and manipulated statements. Crime branch threatened ex-employees of Louis Berger Company and forced them to record tailored 164 statements. PIO of PWD had replied that all files were taken by crime branch. Specifically, PIO had replied that crime branch had taken so-called missing file. Crime branch is lying about missing of file. Kamath's anticipatory bail hearing will continue on Friday morning and he has more 24 hours breather now. Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. Former PWD Minister Churchill has been sent to Kolwale jail under judicial custody in Jaika bribery case. He is the first politician to move into Kolwale jail. 
Court rejected crime branch's application to extend Churchill's police custody for four more days. The court partly heard arguments on Churchill's bail plea and will con continue on Friday. Meanwhile, the court has dismissed bail plea of alleged Hawala operator Raichan Soni. After end of seven days police custody accused in Jaika bribery case, Churchill Alema was produced before the Punji Special Court on Thursday. Crime branch again requested court to extend his police custody for four more days, which the court rejected. On the request of Churchill, the court directed to Lord Churchill in Kolwale Jail, where he can get better facility like a cot to sleep in view of his poor health condition. The court also heard arguments of counsel of Churchill seeking regular bail. Churchill's counsel contended that he was in police custody for seven days. Crime branch has failed to recover missing Jaika file. He is no way connected to this bribery case. In reply, prosecution will argue on Friday. Churchill Alemo, as far as the remand application is concerned, he has been remanded to judicial custody for seven days. As far as bail plea is concerned, Mr. Mundurgi has argued partly. My arguments are fixed tomorrow after Mr. Digambar Damasa. Crime branch summoned chairman of Marga Municipal Council, Arthur De Silva, for allegedly threatening public information officer of PWD Uday K. Manuel Kar for giving RTI reply in favor of Digambar Kamat. <laughs> I don't know anything why they are called me. Maybe for pleasure also. Meanwhile, Panji Special Court dismissed bail application of key accused Havala operator Raichan Soni. Raichan Soni has been dismissed, rejected. We have not received the copy of the order also. Cautioning the media, PWD Minister Sudin Dalikar has denied any links with the Louis Berger bribery episode which allegedly occurred during the year 2007 to 2012. PWD Minister Minister Chief Minister So, Bureau report prudent. Supreme Court will have a decisive hearing on Goa illegal mining petition on Friday. The new cap on annual iron ore extraction will be fixed for the state. In its interim order, Supreme Court had allowed extraction of 20 million tons per year. Sources said that expert committee may recommend nearly 35 million tons capping per year. Supreme Court will hear the Goa mining petition on Friday. The Apex Court will set a new cap limit for annual iron ore extraction. Six-member expert committee has submitted a report on annual capping. It will be examined by the Supreme Court and the copies would be made available to the petitioners and all respondents. Sources say that expert committee will recommend nearly 35 million tons extraction per year. In its interim order, Supreme Court has allowed extraction of 20 million tons per year. Advocate General Atmaram Nadkarni, Mines Director Prasanna Acharya and other officials are in Delhi. Mining companies' interlocutory appeal may also come up for hearing before the Green Bench on Friday. A mining matter, repetition 435 is listed tomorrow before the Honorable Supreme Court. And uh, the two expert committee reports which have been submitted are likely to be opened tomorrow. Okay. There are other two IAs also filed by other two mining companies which will also be taken up tomorrow. Goa government is fully geared up. In fact, uh, I am in Delhi and uh, we have made all preparations to appear in the matter tomorrow. Mining in the state is shut for last three seasons. Last year in April, Supreme Court withdrew ban on mining in the state. In January this year, Goa government rolled back mining ban. Now, Chief Minister Parsekar has warned the mining companies to start mining this season. Now all eyes are set on the stand of the petitioner Goa Foundation. Mahesh Kadi for Prudent. Let's take a short break. Stay tuned.